Hello, Cropper B. This is Will This Work? This is a video response to your video, Axioms, What Are They? So, um, I have a couple of things to say in response. Uh, one, I'm a little bit unsure of, and um, another, I'm more confident of. So, first, the thing that I uh, am a little unsure of, um, it's this... Uh, Axiom existence exists. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's another way to say that. It's maybe less perplexing to me. I mean, is it just the same thing as there are things? I mean, because it seems to me that taken literally, existence exists um, would mean something like even if you took away all the particular things that exist there would still be existence okay maybe that's not what it means I don't know but taken literally the sentence existence exists seems to mean that you know we don't have to necessarily say a table exists a car exists a house exists some people exist we could say that you know, but we don't have to because after all existence exists. So even if these things weren't in existence, existence would still exist. And so I mean I know there was a time when a like tables probably didn't exist, right? <laughs> or definitely didn't exist because they're um inventions or innovations or something by human beings, but um the only way we sort of seem to justify existence is by pointing to particular things and so saying that a table exists I don't know I'm not bilingual I don't speak another language so I'm wondering if it's a peculiarity of language or something but maybe saying a table exists is simply like pointing to a table you know but if you took the table away I don't know that what's left of I mean if you took away the universe right what would existence be then uh, it just strikes me as kind of mystical and I suspect that it means something more than hey we've got some tables and chairs and and these things all exist um, because if if it only means that it doesn't seem to be something that you could derive other things from okay now the thing that I'm more confident about I'm kinda unsure about what I've said so far um, but I'm suspicious of the Axiom existence exists, okay? So maybe um, it can be translated in a way that's less perplexing to me. So, um, sorry, here's my dog. I don't. Say hi, Ziva. Okay, sorry, that was a temporary distraction. Um, okay, so. Your videos, you might have, you might have um, another video that follows this um, axioms, what are they video, where you answer this question, but the videos aren't necessarily numbered, and so um, if if you've addressed this somewhere else, then um, I'm sorry for missing it, but um, you mentioned near the end of this video um, that you can build off of these axioms that you've highlighted for us. Okay, so. Even aside from whether I have any uh, confusion about existence exists or all the the axioms you talked about, okay, let's just assume for a minute that I accept all of them. I think the um, more common or at least the more um, sound criticism of objectivism is that not that the particular axioms that you've cited are arbitrary, but that any... Um, value derived from them is going to seem like a non sequitur okay and randianism or objectivism whatever the appropriate term is may be very valuable to many people's lives practically but I think um, my understanding is that Ayn Rand went farther than that and actually claimed to have answered the uh, is ought problem of David Hume which is actually a meta ethical problem not a practical problem at least not primarily it might have practical implications in the social sciences or humanities or probably even beyond that but um, essentially the is-ought problem is a um, 
meta ethical problem, and Ayn Rand, it's my understanding at least, that Ayn Rand claimed to solve this problem axiomatically and deductively operating up from these axioms. And so I wonder what would be an example of the kind of thing you could derive from the axioms that you've um, highlighted in your video. And my feeling, my strong feeling is that anything derived from those axioms are going, that is where the arbitrariness is going to come in. It's going to seem like a non sequitur. It's going to be a non sequitur. Anything you derive from existence exists or A equals A or something like that is going to be kind of random. Okay, so you may have addressed this in another video, um, but whether you have or not, I hope um, that I'm fortunate enough to get a response from you um, and you can tell me what would be an example of the kind of thing that you could derive ethically that that would necessarily lead to any sort of ethical position from the bare bones axioms that you've uh, highlighted in your video, okay? So two things. One, um, I'm a little confused about this existence exists thing and uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it, so maybe you can set me straight on that. The other thing is I don't think you can derive anything from it, even if we get clear on what it means, okay? Hope to hear from you soon. Cropper, thanks.